My name is Gary Soika. I was formerly the president of Bucknell University, but currently my wife Sandy and I are living at Bend in the Creek Farm, which is a livestock breeds conservancy operation. We specialize in tuna sheep, a historic breed of sheep. They were a gift to the fledgling nation from the Ottoman Empire, and the recipient of these sheep was President George Washington. Those sheep became, at one point, the most popular sheep in the United States, but they were all south of the Mason-Dixon line. And then the great unpleasantness broke out, the North against the South. As a result of the Civil War and the desire to starve the Confederacy, the tuna sheep nearly became extinct. In 1990, my wife Sandy and I got very involved in trying to bring this breed back. We started with just four sheep in our starter flock. We now have approximately 160. These animals stand out a little bit from the typical American sheep flock in that they have those red heads and red legs with a kind of oatmeal colored fleece. There's even reference to sheep of this kind in the Bible. They're called fat-tailed or wide-tailed sheep. The Tunis breed, as it turned out, is a great eating sheep. Heritage Foods and other people who sell meat by the breed always feature Tunis as their premier breed. It also is an adequate wool producer, so it is a dual purpose sheep. Come here, come here, come on. All the animals that we have on this farm, we try to select for those which are a pleasure to be around. They are not aggressive toward people. Look at the wrinkles on his face. He, he looks like he's got... Yes, you're a handsome dude. You want another cookie? Good girl. <laughs> cookie was on a bottle. We used cookies to get her off, and she fell in love. They gotta be the right cookies, don't they, Cookie? You don't just eat any old piece of dough with sugar in it, no, sir. Well, this is something you're not gonna see on a commercial sheep farm because this guy really probably should not have survived. He was the, the victim of a very tough delivery accident. His mom rolled over on his head when he was about halfway out. And he was paralyzed and his head was swollen up and his face was swollen. But we are trying very hard to have 100% survival. We know we can't breed him. We won't breed the mother again either. Our purpose, since these are rare and endangered sheep, make sure that everybody that can survive does survive. And then if they survive, that they get the most appropriate and best possible life for a member of their species. And if he gets that, then I think we're successful, aren't we? Yeah. What's happening today is we're doing our annual shearing of our flock of heritage breed sheep. We shear once a year. We could shear more often than that, but we shear once a year, and when we do, we make it a public event. And we invite anybody that wants to come. No specific invitations. We have a wonderful shearer who puts on a great show. I have been a professional sheep shearer for 30 years. The Tunis breed is a very docile breed. There's not quite as much fight in them when you're shearing them, and their skin is, it seems to be a thinner skin, so you have to be extra careful not to cut them. Every time he takes a hold of one of those sheep, it is literally a pas de deux. It's balletic. And the animal seems so pliant. It seems so willing to let him do that. And they're enjoying being freed of that 10 pounds of wool that they've been carrying around for months. We've tried to operate this farm in an ecologically sensitive and sustainable fashion. These animals were a gift to America at the very beginning of our history, and here they are again today. And I'm happy to report tuna sheep are no longer considered endangered. They are still on the so-called watch list. We feel we've helped preserve part of America's livestock heritage, and of course the overall conservation attempt is to keep this interesting breed viable and desirable.